Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So one suggestion that I seem to get quite a bit is, why don't you build an electrically ignited muzzle loader? Uh, the idea here is that instead of having like a flintlock mechanism or a percussion lock that uses a percussion cap to ignite the powder charge, uh, you would just have basically a spark plug coupled to appropriate uh, ignition circuitry to generate the spark. Uh, and then in use, you could just load up the muzzle loader with powder and ball or shot as appropriate, uh, and then you'd be ready to fire. Uh, you wouldn't need to carry percussion caps or other components for uh, you know, priming, uh, priming the pan in a flintlock, for example. Um, so it would uh, simplify the componentry that you'd have to carry with a muzzle loader and also simplify the reloading process. Uh, now, there's a couple of potential issues with this idea. Uh, one, simply from a marketability standpoint, you know, most muzzle loaders are used primarily for either historical reenactment or hunting. And in order to hunt with a muzzle loader, at least in a muzzle loader only season, uh, your muzzle loader will have to meet the requirements that the state you're hunting in has imposed upon that season. Uh, here in Idaho, for example, uh, in order to hunt in a muzzleloader only season, you have to use a muzzleloader that is either a flintlock or a percussion lock, uh, and it specifically calls out a percussion lock using an exposed cap. Uh, so, you know, right off the bat, that rules out uh, the various inline designs that use a 209 primer, uh, and it would also certainly rule out an electronically ignited uh, muzzleloader. So the market potential for an electronic muzzleloader is probably pretty low if you can't hunt with them in a muzzleloader only season, uh, or, or at least can't hunt with them uh, in muzzleloader seasons in certain states. However, a more fundamental issue is that, at least from what I've read on the internet, uh, black powder is actually not that easy to ignite with an electrical spark. Um, now, I suspect that this rumor comes mostly from people who are trying to build electrically ignited muzzle loaders or cannons using uh, barbecue igniters as their power source. Um, you, you know, you've got these little push button, uh, you know, electrical spark generators that you find in barbecue grills and uh, certain other propane appliances. And if you've ever had a chance to play around with one of those, you know that the spark they generate uh, is very, very low amperage. You know, it's, it's got enough voltage to arc you know, half to three quarters of an inch, but the spark is so faint that you can barely see it. Uh, and it, it seems to be adequate for igniting uh, a mixture of air and propane, but I can see where when it came to igniting something with a little more... Uh, thermal mass, uh, you know, thermal density, like gunpowder, uh, I can see where that might just not be powerful enough to ignite a solid material. Uh, so today I wanted to do a little experiment uh, just investigating the feasibility of an electronically ignited muzzle loader. Uh, and so I picked up an inexpensive boost converter. Um, I forget the exact specs on this. It takes I think it nominally takes four to five volts DC input, and then the output is several kilovolts, um, but it still has enough amperage to make a fairly energetic spark. Uh, so I've got my boost converter, and then I've got that hooked up to a little uh, battery pack, just some AA batteries that I'm using to run it. You know, this could certainly be realistically integrated into a firing circuit for a muzzleloader. Um, so if I just connect the power supply here, and then if I bring the output leads close enough together, you can see that that's a pretty energetic spark. Um, so uh, today I just wanted to see if I can ignite some black powder, or rather pyrodex, with a electronic ignition system, rudimentary as it may be. 
So here I've got a little pile of gunpowder. I'm going to ground one end of the uh, boost converter to the metal table here, and then we'll see if we can arc through the powder with the other uh, terminal and ignite it. Well, wow, that definitely lends some credence to the idea that gunpowder is surprisingly difficult to ignite with an electric spark. Um, just to show you that that is actually gunpowder. Okay, so that is not what I was expecting. Uh, I actually thought that with the boost converter, we'd be able to ignite the gunpowder pretty easily. But as you saw, that was not the case. Uh, so gunpowder really is surprisingly difficult to ignite with an electrical arc. Now, uh, that's not to say it's impossible. I mean, I'm sure that if I brought my arc welder out here, I could ignite the powder with that, because uh, that generates a lot more heat than, you know, this uh, little gas lighter that I touched off the powder with just to show you it was gunpowder. Uh, however, uh, obviously it's not practical to tote around a big old generator powered arc welder uh, just because you want to run your muzzle loader, uh, you know, back in the mountains where you may be hunting. Uh, so, in principle, uh, building an electrically ignited muzzle loader may still be possible, but you'd have to find just the right uh, combination of voltage and current to generate enough heat to reliably set off the charge. Uh, and you'd also have to develop the necessary power supply or control circuitry to deliver that arc uh, using a portable you know, battery pack that still has a decent battery life. And developing all that, I think, would be a non-trivial engineering problem. And with all the other projects I've got going on right now, it's hard to say when, if ever, I'll get around to solving that particular problem. Uh, so, yeah, I, I wouldn't say that building an electronic muzzle loader is impossible. Uh, quite the contrary, I think it probably is. But I think it would be a lot more difficult than a lot of people, including myself as of 10 minutes ago, uh, might have thought. Uh, so, uh, this was definitely an informative little experiment for me. Uh, hopefully you learned something as well, and until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.